What's poppin' y'all? I'm here to talk about the changes I made for both of the OG Basculin forms. If you're curious about Basculin Legion, you could check out that video linked. Well, it's not gonna be linked down below. It's gonna be linked on my channel or on the Google Sheet. Uh, I'll flash them on screen right now if you want to check out Basculin Legion and the White Stripe Basculin. But the base Basculins, I've given their own cool little buffs and changes because, of course, flavor-wise, they're much different than like the ancient or whatever White Stripe Basculin, which is a lot more timid um, and is less of a fighter, which is why it's weaker. Uh, and also because it evolves, obviously, like mechanically, but flavor-wise, that's why it's weaker. Um, so I chose Fighting and Dark uh, because either one fits, and so I figured give the red one Fighting and the, the blue one with the more angry eyes Dark, um, because either one makes perfect sense. Um, I'll cover that a bit more in a second, but before I get into explaining my thought process behind the bust here, I want to have a quick disclaimer for new viewers to check out the description down below. I've got a really important... Um, bullet point list that'll explain the basics of the ROM hack and the way it's balanced. So make sure you give that a read, please, if you haven't already. And then when you're done with this video, you can check out all my other ones. And most importantly, check out the Google Sheet link down below. It's got a, it's got a, a full detailed guide of every single move, buff, and change in the game. You can see on screen as how massive it is, but it's actually very easy to understand if you just scroll through it in order, because everything is organized into categories. And it's also all linked, interlinked with one another as well, if you really want to you do it that way. Uh, Basculin wise, yeah. So. Uh, if you read on screen, I've put tons of Pokedex entries that very much scream fighting and or dark. Um, it's so vicious it's called the Thug of the River. It's very violent. It's always fighting. They'll start fighting instantly. They're very hostile. It's vicious. It's aggressive. Um, everything else disappears when it appears except for fucking Corphish and Crawdon, which are dark types. Uh, that's how violent Basculin are. So. I think these guys both make sense to be either fighting or dark, and so I figured, you know, sometimes I like to make forms different from one another, in this case it's like, yeah, fuck it, make one of them fighting, one of them dark. They're both very good offensive dual typings, they also give them extra resistances, um, which helps because they're not very bulky, I mean, they're not frail either, 70, 70, 70 is very average, like middling, whatever, average bulk. Um, with investment if you need it, because a lot of the time you'll be, you'll be slapping it. Honestly, this guy, he's a bit straight, he's a bit one note. He can't do too much utility. He can do some, especially earlier on. If you get it early on, you can do some like battle cry, rehydrate shenanigans, I guess. Obviously, they have like parting shot. Um, they've got acid of reflux, you know, stuff like that, which parting shot is a unique move in this game. Only Pokemon that actually makes sense to get it, get it now. Um, and these guys, given the whole thug of the river thing they got going on, I think makes sense to learn parting shot. Most dark types, I would say, do. Not all. Like, for example, I didn't get with the Greninja, but I think most dark types make sense for it. Um, via TM, at least. Um... So yeah, again, water or dark, both are great offensively, offensive dual combos. I wouldn't worry about which one's like better or worse or whatever. They're like, it's just, it's not that deep, you know? Whatever one you get is the one you get. Um, there's no way to pick necessarily, but yeah. Um, I mean, you can't even pick with the white stripe, right? The white stripe is one that evolves if you like Basket Legion more, um, which I'm sure most of you do. Most people don't give a fuck about Basket Legion. Me personally, I think he's cool as fuck. I mean, he's a bit boring, but I don't know. I think he has a lot of charm to him, you know? Like, they're just fucking angry ass, like, base or a bass it's a base uh, bass fish you know i don't know i think it's cool i like them i think they're based on some other types of fish too but mostly bass if i remember um yeah so adaptability good old reliable great dual stab options they have tons of uh, high base power stab moves as well and also tons of coverage options uh they have mud moves like mud shower and mud bomber they have temper flare uh, which are like all high base power stab uh, coverage options you've got you know sludge bombs and headbutt first impression lunge uh, also, also, and of course, uh, all of the the dark type form gets fighting coverage, and the fighting type form gets dark type coverage as well. They have head smash, jaw lock, you know, ice fang, all sorts of good coverage. Um, but mostly, you're going to be using adaptability or instinct. That final slot, mold breaker, is just for niche like situations where you want to bypass a sturdy or a focus. Uh, sorry, a sturdy or a multi scale, um, or maybe like some other immunity ability like water absorb. But those are pretty niche on the AI because the AI doesn't know how to abuse immunity abilities uh, like the player does. Um, so most of the time it's just to bypass sturdy or multi scale. That's like most the, the main application of uh, Mold Breaker, because you're not always going to need a boost, right? Because you already have respectable 107, 90 offenses on paper. They only become incredibly powerful when you add on the adaptability and instinct boost. Um, instinct again, it's got this whole like violent, constantly fighting, aggressive nature. I think instinct makes sense for like an animalistic, aggressive Pokemon like that. Um, and it's really cool because they are a mixed attacker, right? So you can switch between your moves constantly in this game, switch between your abilities. So Instinct is actually stronger than Adaptability in terms of raw damage, and also Instinct boosts coverage moves, while Adaptability does not. So Instinct has a lot of advantages to Adaptability. The one thing Adaptability has over Instinct is that, um, it, number one, it boosts like 
both stats technically in the sense that you can use like hydro cannon and then switch to hydro assault technically stuff like that with adaptability works because hydro cannon is special uh, water type draco meteor and hydro assault is the physical counterpart to that so you could switch between those two hypothetically but the main thing is that instinct only gives you the boost in the lower stat of what you're switching in on and while with movie learner that's very easy to play around because all you have to do is switch your move for example if you're switching in on a pokemon that has lower special defense and you want to hit them with you know that plus one special attack move you slap on dark pulse otherwise you slap on health thrust or wicked blow later in the game or you know stuff like that it's pretty or you know crunch etc it's very easy to just switch between your moves in this game with movie learner um However, there might be some situations where you need a specific boost and you physically cannot get it because you don't have control over what, like, you have to play around the AI's stats. So you know what Pokemon you're going to switch, you know, you plan around what Pokemon you switch into. Um, so instinct rewards prep. While if you're not prepping or you're not playing the game as intended, you're just kind of fucking running through shit, adaptability is much easier to use. But when you're playing as intended, which is planning out the fight, planning out the turns you're supposed to switch in, Instinct is better because it gives you objectively more damage. You're getting a 25, uh, 2.25 times boost as opposed to a 2 times boost from adaptability. So you get a lot of extra damage, um, and you also boost your coverage moves. So Instinct is definitely better in that regard, but there are definitely some hypothetical scenarios where either you need to use your both, both physical and special attacking stats in, in one turn, or not in one turn, but without switching out and back in, I guess, hypothetically, that could happen. Or... Um, the main application I would say is if you need to, for example, kill something with a plus one attack, but that Pokemon you're switching in on does not give you a attack boost, then you would run adaptability. For example, you want to kill something with Wave Crash, and whatever you want to kill with Wave Crash, for some reason you don't want to click Hydro Cannon, I don't know why, or Torrential Pulse or whatever, right, like your special counterpart. Hypothetically speaking, you can't click it for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe like they have Permafrost or Fur Coat or some weird shit, right? Uh, then you just switch abilities and... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting really ranty here. I don't think it matters that much. You guys get the point, is that Instinct is stronger, that ability is easier to use, and is less restrictive. But Instinct is much better uh, overall, and is their main ability, I would say. Uh, and then Mole Breaker is just good for, you know, occasional cheesing of annoying things that the AI can do, like Focus Sash, like, sorry, not Focus Sash, like Sturdy, like Multiscale. Uh, which isn't going to come up in every fight, so that's why it's, you know, one of your three options. Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I wanted to give them Intimidate, but, because it makes a lot of sense, but there's already, uh, Paldean Tauros, and uh, what's the water die dark I have for Intimidate slotted? I think it's Gator for Alligator, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, uh, they, all, they, they all take up Intimidate already, so I can't give these guys Intimidate in good faith. Um, Moldbrick is good anyway, so it's fine. Um, I thought of a lot of other abilities like Swift Swim, for example, but then you have, you know, Polyrath and uh, what the fuck is the water dark with Swift Swim? I know there's one. Um, can't think of it right now, but I'm, I'm let me, let me check, I'm just curious. Point being though, there's a lot. There's not that many ability slot options because there's already a good amount of water darks and water uh, fighting types in this game. Let me check, hold on. Oh, I'm looking at the water darks. With some... I'm just curious, I know I have one. Huh, I don't, okay. Well, I guess I didn't want to give a Swiss Swim because of, um... well, Swiss Swim would be kind of ass anyway. It's not useless, but it's like, eh, it's not useless. It's not useless, it would be fine. Uh, I guess I didn't want to give it Swift Swim because then the Red Stripe one gets cheesed out of Swift Swim, and I don't want to take away Swift Swim from Polyrath, so... Because that's, like, his thing, right? So I don't want to remove it, even though, honestly, it makes much more sense on these two. But it is what it is. Um, Coverage-wise, I already covered pretty much all the important ones. Um, there's some other small things, like Balance is 90 power, that's solid. Coverage, too. Um, outside of all the ones I said at the beginning of the video, Iron Head is there for some niche situations. But yeah, the main ones are, like, Poison, Ground, Fire, stuff like that. Um... And of course the rock and the dark and the fighting so yeah shout out to you if you made it to the end guys again high base power stab boost solid i mean good stats all around like they're strong and fast a lot of the time you're just going to be slapping on a choice scarf to be real it's very like straightforward uh kind of a one note gameplay wise um it's cool and it's fun not the most entertaining not the, i mean unless you really just like raw damage offense whatever but me personally i prefer my guys to be a bit more like versatile but it is what it is you know they're not always going to be like that especially a pokemon like this um, doesn't really make much sense to have much else going on. Um, it's just a strong offensive guy. Just click buttons, slap on a choice scarf most of the time, get some kills, go from there. So yeah, um, I mean, again, you can still always cook like a counter endeavor. Like there are there is options of always. Um, but overall, that's basically mostly what they're doing is, is scarf shenanigans or occasional other utility options. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you made it to the end, y'all. I appreciate it if you did, and uh, I'll be back for more coming up. Peace.